Hey everybody, Keith Hilson with the Trombone Trap Instrument Music here. Wanted to do another instrument demo review for you today, uh, specifically on the S.E. Shires Michael Davis model small bore tenor trombone. So a lot of us are familiar with Michael Davis. Um, when I was coming up through college, um, uh, he was one of my favorite artists for a lot of the writing he was doing. Um, he's done at this point 11 different albums, including his absolute trombone, Bone Town, Trumpets 11, tons of great brass writing. He's also well known for a lot of his freelance work, uh, one of the top call guys in New York and doing a lot of touring right now as well. So a few years ago, uh, Shires went to Michael Davis and built a artist model trombone with him. Um, and it has become for them, I think frankly in the uh, small board tenor community, one of the favorite small boards out there. So the Michael Davis model here features a seven and a half inch uh, two piece hand hammered bell, um, soldered rim, has the uh, Shires 1.5 tuning slide. So they have a couple of different tuning slide tapers, um, bore sizes rather, for their small board tenors, the one, the 1 1.5. 1 1.5 is just a little bit more open. I think a lot of people have been liking that on all of the different Shires configurations. And this also has the T95 Michael Davis slide. So it is a 495 bore, uh, kind of patterned after the King that Michael had been playing on for a lot of years. So it's 495 bore, um, kind of specially designed cork barrels, a um, little bit thinner brace for the right hand, um, full nickel silver outer tubes with yellow brass crook. One of the things I really like about this horn is, especially for being a 500 bore horn, um, I usually play in slightly bigger gear for my small bore tenor, uh, for example, my 3B 508 bore. And so a lot of times when I'm playing on a little bit smaller gear, I find that sounds get, gets a little bit bright. Um, I have to work a little bit harder to really get the air moving to be comfortable. I don't really experience that as much with this horn. I think it's super well balanced. It has a really relatively dark sound, a really thick core is the, I, what I think it has. Kind of a typical Shire sound where I hear the chorus sound going all the way to the edge of the sound. Um, very, very balanced response all the way through. Again, kind of very typical for a lot of the Shires from the bottom to top, very even playing in a lot of ways here. So I want to take a quick play so that you could hear this horn in action. So, hope you enjoyed the quick review here of the uh, Michael Davis model. Take a look too, we're also going to be doing a review of the Michael Davis Plus as well here, the 508 version of this horn. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, think about giving us a thumbs up on this video and think about subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Again, we're trying to do a lot of regular videos here, hopefully giving you some useful information. And as always, you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Thanks for watching.